All right, so this is Sir. He's a wandering artist who's renowned for posting faces like these. He may or may not have worked in the animation industry. He always draws himself with a horse head. He loves his dog, Suki. You can find him regularly posting onto Twitter, Tumblr, but he's most celebrated for his 4chan content, specifically the comics he's created for the fitness board known as Fit. You can find his comics going all the way back to 2012, but he's most celebrated by his most popular series, the New Year's Comics. Fit happens to really, really, really hate New Year's because it's this time of year when gyms are temporarily flooded with people trying to lose weight. It's kind of like an anti-holiday that the whole community dreads. But Sir took it upon themselves to use this holiday as an excuse to kind of chronicle all of the most popular memes, stories, and events that happened to Fit over the year. So why would I consider Sir and his artwork to be notable internet lore? Besides his comics being a staple of the fit community, I think it's always worth noting when Fortune agrees on liking someone or something. What makes Sir's art different? Why is he able to create shit posts that still feel like high art? Depression. He's posted about it a lot on various platforms, but Sir struggles with mental health. And while I don't think 4chan is aware of this, I do think it colors his work to some degree. Putting so much polish and effort into shit posting takes humility, something I think Sir has in spades, unfortunately. Sir is obviously an active and celebrated member of 4chan's community, but to some degree, he also hates himself something that 4chan weirdly respects. More than any other community online, you can't roll into an anonymous messaging board with an ego. 4chan takes pride in the fact that everyone isn't allowed to be prideful. If you enter into their community, you have to do so at the same level. On 4chan, you have no followers, no karma, not even a name. There's no ego on 4chan, so I think in a weird way, Sir needed to have low self-esteem to find success on 4chan. He's only able to maintain an identity that's separate from the anonymous collective because he doesn't try to raise himself above the rest of them. He's just a guy who, like a lot of fit in 4chan, is trying to hate himself a little less. What's some internet lore that you think is a tale worth telling? Leave a comment down below, and have a good evening, Netscape Navigators.